So, DeAnthony, five threes tonight um, in, in the fourth quarter. It really seemed like the confidence was there again for the offense. The threes were falling. Jonas was found with some passes. The ball movement was there. Did you feel like that the, just the flow of the offense was certainly better there in the fourth quarter compared to the last few games? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, by the time the fourth came around, uh, we noticed what they were doing. And they was blitzing, you know, mainly every ball screen, especially with, uh, with Josh. So. Uh, we just want to make sure everybody was available and uh, understanding, you know, finding an open guy uh, is important because, you know, they're sending ten, two at one player. So, I mean, it's pretty much four on three on the backside. And I feel like uh, everybody did a great job moving the ball around and getting the easiest shot possible. And, uh, you know, this is the results you get. Drew Hill. D'Anthony, have you always been like a streaky shooter or got like a microwave type guy that can eat up like that in the moment is that have you been that type of player your whole life or is that a new thing uh I mean I've always been a player that uh step up when the team needs me so uh whatever it is honestly I mean I've just been able to step up you know when my team needs me and uh I'm going to continue to do that and you know I mean at this point you guys you guys are shooting seeing me shoot you know the ball at, the, at a high level so uh I'm pretty confident in my game right now I'm pretty confident you know in my three-point shooting and I just got to, you know, remind myself the work I put in. So, um, but I mean, I've always just been, you know, whatever the team needs. Um, and once I see one go down, I mean, teaching myself to shoot, shoot the same shot and, you know, continue to have confidence in it. Terry Davis. Hey, how you doing, D'Anthony? Good, how about you? I'm doing well. Man, even though you play at an even kill all the time, you always come with that energy, man. Where do you get that energy from every night, whether you in the rotation, out the rotation, you always have the energy every night in and night out. Man, uh, I mean, I get it from my heart. I mean, you know, I take pride in playing hard and just going out there and, you know, try to cause disruption, you know, try to impact the game. So um, I just go out there and play hard, you know. Uh, in high school, um, my coach said, you know, if you don't play hard, you can't get on the court. So no matter how talented you were, no matter how good you were, uh, I mean, if you don't play hard and play defense, you know, you wasn't getting on the court. So uh, as a freshman, I was able to play uh, with some high level guys. Uh, I mean, just because, you know, I played hard and uh, it just carried with me. And, you know, having that motor and stuff, you know, it's, it goes a long way. Megan Triplett. D'Anthony, something that Jerry mentioned um, in his post-game interview is that there were a lot of Grizzlies fans there in Tampa. Were you surprised to see the Grizzlies fans, and how loud was it in there? Man, we actually had a good turnout. Um, we saw a lot of, you know, Grizzly jerseys in there. When we were scoring, you know, we heard, you know, a lot of clapping. So, you know, it was great to see, uh, especially at this point in the season. Um, you know, first time out here is, you know, I, I'm pretty sure fans were excited to see us, and you know, we were grateful to see them too. So now we just got to go home and, you know, handle our same business and hopefully we get, you know, even better turnout for these last uh, four home games. Evan Barnes. Yeah, the, um, with Jaron coming back, what's it, what's it kind of been like for you just kind of watching him get back comfortable? You've obviously played more with him coming off the bench, but how have you seen him try to, you know, get his way back and were you maybe not surprised, but just how much are you seeing this to work kind of pay off with him now as he started and just kind of adjusting back with you guys after so much time off? It's crazy because he's he just getting his rhythm. Um, and we all know what Jaron can do. We all know what he, what he did last year. I mean, he's an amazing player, you know, top tier. Um, you know, he sat out pretty much almost a whole year. And, you know, he's getting back to it. Um, and, you know, almost like he ain't missed a step. And, you know, he understands what he has to do. He, has, he understands what he has to get better at. And, um uh, just keep getting, you know, his touches and keep getting, uh, keep getting better, uh, especially now that he's playing. Uh, you know, everybody knows game speed is different. So uh, I'm just glad the way he adjusted, you know, he adjusted fast to it. Christos Saltis. Anthony, how many steps on the right direction was that win for your team? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's another win. And, and we understand how important wins are at this point. And we just want to keep getting them. Um, we feel like we should we can win almost every game. And um, we just want to get better in wins, losses, it don't matter. So, I mean, I feel like it's a, always a great step. It's always a step forward for us, no matter what. Joe Molinax.
All right, we'll go to the sorry, sorry about sorry about that. Um, uh, DeAnthony, congratulations on the win. Uh, I'm curious. Obviously, after the win, you, you guys got the victory. You move on to New Orleans, but you've got the day off tomorrow. You can kind of catch your breath. Do you guys scoreboard watch at all at this point? Like the Spurs game that just tipped off, and and other games that maybe are relevant to the plan. How active are you guys watching that? Especially when you're not in pr- direct preparations for your next game. Uh, I mean, we watch basketball. I feel like a lot of our team, we watch basketball either way. So uh, we can't control the game. But uh, as long as we handle our business, it doesn't really matter what uh, other people do, honestly. Um, just continue to, you know, win as many as, many as we can. And, you know, whatever the ball lies, wherever it lies at that point. So uh, we can't go out there and fix games, stuff like that. So we just, you know, trying to worry about ours. Last question, Isaac Simpson. Hey, DeAnthony, uh, you guys go two and one on this road trip. You have five games remaining. With how close the standings are with the between the potential teams that will be in the play in, just kind of talk about the, the magnitude of this upcoming week. Uh, are we, are we understand. Um, we understand it's, you know, it's a pretty big week coming up for us. But, uh, you know, we don't want to get too high or too low on any game. We understand the impact that we need. Um, and every game is uh, should be winnable. Um, no matter what, even even you know, middle of the season, beginning of the season, we understand that we can win any game. So as long as we do that, I mean, we're doing our job. Thanks, Anthony. Yep.